The Ford Explorer brake package is an easy and affordable way to add disc brakes to your Curry rear end. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the kit and the way that it goes together. Hi, I'm John Henson from Curry Enterprises and today we're going to talk about the Explorer brake kit. It's an easy and affordable way to add brakes to a Ford 9 inch rear end. There's a couple of things that I want to make sure that you are aware of when purchasing or choosing this kit. It is specific to the big bearing Ford 9 inch Torino housing end with a two and a half inch axle offset. Basically the new style Ford 9 inch. That's our standard on all of our crate rear ends for our muscle cars. So this is a good choice if you're looking to add disc brakes to a drum car or as an upgrade to drums if you already have a rear end with those specs. The kit comes pretty complete. It gives you everything that you need to, in order to bolt this kit on. You're going to have a backing plate. And the way that this backing plate operates as far as the parking brake mechanism is you can tell it's like a small drum. This drum actually rides inside the back of the rotor. And when you pull on the uh, parking brake mechanism on the hook, it's going to adjust these two shoes out and apply pressure to the inside of the rotor hat. And that's going to keep your car from rolling away from you if you leave it in neutral. The caliper is a single piston caliper. It's a nice large caliper. It comes equipped with pads already installed. You'll notice that it does come with a flex hose as well. And it's a 3 8 24 banjo that we include with the kit. The end of it does mate to a 3 16 standard hard brake line kit, so if, you know, this will probably work with almost all of the brake lines that are already on your car or is available from any auto parts store. It's a standard size 3 16 inverted flare. Also in the kit, very important is the spacer ring. The spacer ring needs to be installed correctly onto the axle shaft in order to provide the correct spacing for the caliper to mount over the rotor and slide and center. I have an axle shaft here. I'm going to show you where that goes. It does need to slide on before the bearing. Very important is if you're trying to install the spacer ring on an axle shaft that you already have, the bearing will need to get pressed off. If you're ordering a new rear end from Curry Enterprises, we'll make sure that this is on before the bearing. So, your retainer plate slides on first, then your spacer ring, and then your bearing. And then the bearing needs to be pressed on in a hydraulic press. It's very important that you have this spacer in the correct order before the bearing so that it provides the correct amount of preload to the bearing and provides the right amount of spacing so that when you go to mount this caliper, it'll actually slide over the rotor. The hardware does come with the kit. What's going to be included is new T-bolts for your Torino housing end, a weld on uh, bulkhead fitting if you wanted to weld this in place to hold your flex line, and the clip. We do make this kit in four lug patterns, five lug patterns, and six lug patterns. So if you have a five on four and a half, four and three quarter, we do drill it. We do have different register adapters. The register on this rotor is 2.8. Uh, which mates to a curry axle perfectly. If it needs to be something different or if your axle shaft that you're mating this brake kit to is something different, uh, we can bore it to a larger diameter or we have register adapters that will go down to a smaller register. I hope this answers some of the questions on our Explorer kit. It's an awesome kit if you're looking to upgrade from a drum or just add a standard looking disc brake kit in the rear. We do have all of this information on our website. If you have any questions, send us an email, give us a call, or drop a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe here. For more tech videos, click here. And for more curry content, click here. Thanks for watching, guys.